Welcome animal adventurers to the Safari Studios. Have you ever driven through the wildlife ranch, seen maybe animals in the wild or in a book, and wondered, what is the difference between an antler and a horn? Well, let me tell you. Let's start off first with antlers. Now, all antlers are possessions of deer. Only deer get antlers. Now, also, only male deer get antlers. And there is an exception to this rule, and that would be reindeer or caribou. The females and the males both get antlers. Now, what's one big difference between the two of those? Is that antlers, every single year, are grown and fall off. And then the next year, they grow a whole new set and they fall off again. Now, different kinds of deer have different kinds of antlers. Okay, let me grab two different species of antlers here. They're both antlers, but they look very, very different. Now, this comes from a fallow deer. This comes from an axis deer. Now, the axis antlers, they generally only get three points on them, just like this one is. Now, the fallow deer is kind of like a moose. It has a palmated antler. Now, when I say palmated, what I mean is it's, it's like the palm of your hand. It has this broad, flat part with all these little appendages coming out of it. Antlers are comprised of basically bone. It is basically cartilage that gets hard. Now, the process of growing, like I said, they grow a new set, lose a set every single year. Now, during that growing process, that material that that antler is made out of is more soft and spongy, kind of like cartilage. And as it's growing, it's covered with what is called velvet. It's a thin layer of skin that has real short hairs that make it look real velvety and feel velvety and soft. Now, when that antler is through growing, at the end of that growing cycle, what happens is that velvet dries and falls off. Okay, now one of the largest antlers there are in the world belongs to the American elk. Now, this is a really good example this comes from a huge bull. And if you can see how big this is. Now, a set of antlers on these big, huge animals can weigh up to 40 pounds. Now, one of the funniest things is when these big, huge elk lose their antlers, they have 40 pounds of antlers on their head. When they lose it and it comes off, they walk around with their head held way up high because they don't have that 40 pounds dragging their head down. Now, if you also notice, let me twist this around. This is, this is the pedicle of the antler. This is where it is attached to the skull of the animal. And this is where it dries and it falls off. Now, in comparison, horns are very different. Horns actually are the outside of them are keratin, just like our hair and our fingernails are made out of. And they grow on the outside of a bone that is attached to that animal's skull. And they can look very, very different depending on what type of animal it's growing on. Here, for example, is a horn from an eland antelope. Now, as I was telling you, there's that bone core that goes in the middle of this that is attached to the skull. Okay, now if a horned animal loses its horn, it will never grow back. Okay, now let me grab another type of horn, just to show you a difference. And this one looks very, very different. This one actually comes from a ram. Now, if you notice that, long, that spiral shape as compared to the long straight of the eland, very, very different. Now, Depending on the species, it depends on how that, how that type of horn grows. Now, we do also have our adventure guidebook that when you're driving through the ranch and you wonder, oh, what kind of horn is that or what kind of animal is that? And do both the males and the females both have them? You can look in your little reference here. It tells you in here what kind of horns. Do the males only have horns? Do the males and females both have horns? So here's a quick reference when you're driving through or if you're wondering, take it home for a school project or anything fun like that. Well, thanks Animal Adventures for stopping by the Safari Studio to learn the difference between antlers and horns. We'll see you next time.